Today, I will be unboxing a Nintendo Switch. This is the new 2019 Redbox model. So, on the side, we just have some branding of the Switch, and um, the back is kind of the same. So, this is, as I said, the new model. It has better battery than the old model Switch. And as you see here, it shows how to set it up and how to plug it in and all. So here we have the Nintendo Switch and its Joy-Cons in this box. Um, the Switch tablet uh, obviously comes out first. So this is just the black model. Uh, there's not really any white model available, although there is some special editions. So I'm going to put that over to the side while I grab the right Joy-Con. This is red on this model, although you can also get it in gray, and um, it's a pretty small controller, but it does the job pretty well. If you want a different controller, you can always go for the Pro Controller. And it's the same story for the left Joy-Con, which is blue on this model. They're in these plastic bags, and the serial number is printed on the back. Lifting up this um, box thing, we can see the warranty and regulations and safety guide and the Joy-Con grip, which pretty much just gives a bit of a better grip on the Joy-Con for playing in docked mode. And then we have the Joy-Con strap, which you put on the Joy-Con. And here's the other one. They're pretty stupid in my opinion. It doesn't really make that much sense. Here we have the HDMI cable. So this is just any normal HDMI cable. It is pretty high quality though, um, better than some dollar store stuff. And we have the AC adapter, which is USB Type-C. This is the only adapter that will work with the dock, officially. Although you can get some third-party adapters, but your average phone adapter won't work. And here is the dock. Um, it's in bubble wrap and some sort of cloth-type wrapping. Um, but you can just take it out. And it's made out of black plastic, and it's pretty high quality. On the side, we get two USB 2 ports. Inside we get a USB 3 port, HDMI, and USB-C AC power. We also see a little slot for ventilation. Um, as you see, there is multiple cable routing positions. And yeah, it's just a piece of plastic that you put the switch into. Now let's set it up. It first instructs us to put both the Joy-Cons in, so I'm going to do that. And now we get to the setup. First we choose our language, then our region, then we accept the end user license agreement, and now it prompts us to connect to Wi-Fi, so I'm going to put in my Wi-Fi details. So now we have to choose our time zone after we enter our Wi-Fi details, so I'm just going to find Eastern, which seems to be New York slash Toronto. prompts us to connect to a TV, but we don't have to. So next it instructs us to detach the Joy-Cons, so we can do that and we can also use the kickstand. It tells us about detaching them and using the kickstand, and now we can add our user. So it asks us to, to create a new user or import one, so I'm going to create a new one since I don't have my old switch on hand. And I'm just going to make a profile real quick. Now we can enter a name for the user. You can always change this later in settings. I'm just going to make mine tabby. Now we can link our Nintendo account. So I'm going to link my Nintendo account, and I'll be back after I do so. After we do that, it shows us that we've added one, and we can enable automatic save data. It'll ask us to add another user, it'll show us about Nintendo Online, and then it will ask us about parental controls. And now we're done with setup. So now here's a quick tour of the interface. So here we have the games. We can go into system settings, and we can navigate around here. As you see, we can change the screen brightness right here, or we can keep it on auto brightness, which is what I do most of the time. We can scroll down and we can configure a lot of things like parental controls. Now we can go to users and you can see we can transfer our data if we need to. We can choose a different theme, which I'm gonna choose basic black. In notifications, we just have a couple of settings. For sleep mode, we just have a bunch of sleep related settings. 
Then we can change some controller settings and update our controllers. And for whatever reason, touchscreen sensitivity is in there. We can go to adjust TV settings and we can go to system. And for whatever reason, console battery percent is in here, which I always recommend turning on. We can also see a bunch of uh, settings related to accessibility and stuff. And we can turn on share error information if we want. This is where we can reset the console in formatting too, if we ever need to. So that was the settings. Now, um, that's pretty much the interface. Now we can insert a micro SD card under the kickstand. Here I have a 128 gigabyte SD card that I used in my old Switch. And it will prompt us to do a system update, of course. So we can do that. And after a bit, it will ask us to restart the console. And then we should be able to use the SD card after deleting everything on it. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please leave a like. And maybe you can check out some of the other content on my channel. So thank you for watching, and goodbye.